Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today I want to play another Mac that I want to check out if it's still good and I'm playing the X5 today. It's the Hero Cicada. It is the one with the missile hard points and I'm going for a classic skirmishing build here. So I've got two SOM6s, I've got four medium lasers, I've got an XL Engine 300. It's not the biggest one but I need some way to put the SRMs in here and I've got three tons of SRM ammo and two double heat sinks. It's a very straightforward build, I've done that a lot of times but with the skills now we have some opportunities to skill this one. Now what I kind of regret is that the missile cooldown which used to be I think 20% is reduced to 10% now so it's it's not firing the missiles that crazily anymore but we have some nice other options that I want to show you here. So uh, first of all the weapon spree. The weapon spree consists uh, in my build here uh, of laser duration and the missile skills here. I'm skipping high explosive because I think it's not doing that much. It's only 15% critical hit damage. Damage is not that valuable, I think. Uh, I mean, the critical hit damage, it doesn't do too much. And at the point where the enemy is open already, it should be dead. So nah, I, I don't like it to have that on missiles, honestly. Didn't experiment that much uh, with that yet, but uh, maybe later. So uh, I got the missile rack. So what does the missile rack do? We got more ammunition now and we can stay in the fights longer with that. And that's cool. So both missile racks and I'm taking all the laser duration skills here because I went down this path anyway. So I got this missile rack and I wanted the missile spread down here. So I could take the, the laser nodes and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with that. Also, I got a little bit of range with that. But again, not all the cooldown skills. That, that is kind of unfortunate. And uh, I will tell you in, 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 the, in the video later about that. So what did I do uh, otherwise? Uh, I got skeletal density as much as possible because the X5 comes with a bit of structure quirks and amplifying them by skilling that is good. So I think this is the only exception I'm, I'm going for skeletal density in a medium mech, uh, especially in a, in a lighter medium mech. Uh, I'm doing it if it has quirks and um, otherwise I, I wouldn't take that. I'm taking the speed tweak here, full speed tweak, uh, going down this path. I'm taking anchor turn in favor for torso also twist speed uh, because the twist speed is already very good and uh, yeah taking corners with the anchor turn is I think more important than a bit of torso speed with that. Also I'm taking the cool run going down this path got cool run here 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 and here and I take uh, hill climb uh, wait no ah, I was guilted yeah I, I wanted to go down here so I, I wanted hill climb actually over improved gyros so this is a miss skill what I did here uh, I would probably have gone for that. That would be the proper way. Okay, never mind. Sometimes I'm doing mistakes as well. So hill climb in a cicada without jump jets is always good. Uh, and I'm taking the rate of deprivation nodes here, the 60% down, uh, down, down here. And of course the second consumable slot because we are in a relatively fast mech and we can make use of a UAV and this is what I took here. I took a UAV and a cool shot to keep the damage going and that's the build. So that is the Cicada X5 in a classic loadout here. And uh, I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Domination on the HPG Manifold. And I'm back. I'm back from vacation. Uh, yeah, so that means that the car has gotten fixed. And I'm very, very happy about that. Not only because that it is fixed and we could go to vacation, but also uh, because um, we didn't have to replace the whole uh, diesel injector. Uh, which would have resulted in like uh, an 800 euro Hi. bill. Uh, no, it was just a little small copper ring that uh, that yeah got broken and uh, the mechanic fixed it and it was only 150 euros and it is good. So uh, yeah, we could go to vacation. The, the car is up and running. We didn't have to play uh, no pay play a uh, pay a fortune for that, and that makes me very very happy. Also, uh, I had a great time on vacation. It was so good. Uh, I went for a role playing game, live role playing game. Uh, this is what, what I do, what my, my wife and me are doing, and our son as well, now. <laughs> uh, what's that? New target acquired. I don't want to get hit by some long-range stuff. Yeah, PPC uh, Panther on top, and Echo 6. Let's avoid it, push left side then. Let's go. So, uh, yeah, live role-playing is a thing that I'm doing for 12 years now, and uh, I enjoy it. It's it's very relaxing uh, in terms of you know uh, shutting shutting off your mind for for a while. I'm going for the Kodiak. Commit to Foxtrot. Let's go. Uh, come on. Ooh, dangerous. But his turn rate is awful, and mine is as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, go for legs. 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 Legs are open. Yep. We can definitely kill him now that he is pinned in place. 
he doesn't have any chance. Good! My cool shot may or may not have been a bit too early, but I just wanted to, to commit to that kill and I had no idea what was uh, going on around me. So I didn't look at the minimap. Uh, back to live role-playing games. I um, started playing role-playing games when I was a teen, like 14 years old, like pen and paper. And of course a lot of computer role-playing games and I love them. This is so cool. It's one of my favorite genres, I have to say. And uh, doing it live was just a matter, matter of, uh, of time. And uh, yeah, I'm again doing it for 12 years now. I enjoy it a lot. Uh, spending a lot of time outside and uh, having fun with my friends. Also, there's a linebacker I want to kill. Mm, can't go out, though. Oh, there's another linebacker. I can kill you. That's fine. Uh, side trolls. What? What's shooting me? Oh, it's another guy. Yeah, I need to run now. I need my team around to do something. Uh, can I shoot you up there? No. All right. Guys, push right side. Delta 6, please. Uh, there he comes. And I miss all of my shots. All of my missiles here. Um, but yeah, um, again, spending a lot of time outside is great. Again, you have no internet, you have no technology around. It's just nothing there reminds you of your of your, yeah, daily life. And, and that is great. Uh, it's physically exhausting, I have to say, because I'm not uh, the most sporty type of guy. Uh, but yeah, it challenges me. And it's cool. So I like it. I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, no, no, thank you. Can we please commit to something? Team, can we please push right side? Let's do something. Just staying here does nothing. Please, do something. This is pointless. We have them. We have them in the back here. That's another Kodiak. That's a bit scary. Um, can I commit to that? Maybe. Maybe with a rush. Sneak around here. Get behind him. Just need to get behind him and then... Ooh, fine. Oh, I just kill him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I hope that my team is doing something on the right now, which is not true. All right, I guess so, I guess so. But in my condition, I can't do it on my own. I can strike and harass, but uh, I need my team around. New target acquired. Shoot you though, and we are slowly getting there. Oh yeah, all right. Uh, stay low ground. Oh, Delta, commit to the right side, please, guys. Oh, hello. It's not good. <laughs> oh man, why are you so afraid? We have assault mech still, and, and they are not pushing. Oh, these people. Can, can we please commit to push right side? We have everybody in place. This is not this is not true here. Why? Okay, swing around here. No, why I? Oh, God, can you please not block me, you stupid wall? And. Uh, Get down here. New target acquired. <laughs> All right, let's shoot him. Good. New target acquired. We are winning this big time, and we are not committing to the kills. I, I don't understand this. New Sorry, I have no idea why we are not doing anything about these enemies. Okay, critical. I'm almost overheating here. Let's get back to second line. Cool down. Cool down my my feelings and my and my and my, and my, my emotions here. Uh, get wrecked? No, not quite. I, I again, I, I don't understand what's happening here. <laughs> okay, um, well maybe I can shoot this. Doesn't do much, but ah, there's a guy. The blackjack. Yeah, let's get in there. I'm a bit afraid of the panther, but I'm getting back to the circle. Ah, uh, there he comes. Acquired. I miss it. I'm probably dead. Uh, the panther is not engaging me, which is okay. I'm fine with that. Got the kill on him, finally. Damn, that took far too long, guys. This is just... Uh. There's another guy, it's Bravo. Uh, yeah, I can engage him. It's just a matter of uh, who pulls the trigger first. And it, it definitely is Han Solo. Okay, we got him as well. All right, we're getting there. So we are in the circle. The Panther is outside still. And we got him. Finally. What the hell? Did you see that? <laughs> no. Uh, I think I'm still alive. They had a bunch of damage. Let's see the end score. And then we're going over to the next one. Yeah, 643. Got two kills. Two kill most damage there, seven components. And then 
Oh, that war. That, 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 that uh, dealt a good amount of damage here. Yeah. Well, I can't speak anymore, but it was a crazy game. Let's go over to the next one. Maybe this, this will be better. So, second game of the day. We are playing Escort on the Frozen City. Enemy is already coming in there and I'm a bit puzzled still <laughs> of how the last game went down. We could have easily overwhelmed them. We had everybody in place. Everybody. And no one wanted to go in. Maybe they were all as damaged as I was. I have no idea. But uh, it annoyed me so much. And maybe I got a bit too salty about it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it was just uh, a missed opportunity. A big missed opportunity. And this is what bugs me the most, I think. So uh, I am playing mostly the game um, with uh, a good amount of awareness, I would say. And um, I see things. And when I try to motivate my, my teammates to do something with the things that I see on the battlefield, then uh, yeah, they're not reacting, not responding. Then I'm, I'm getting angry. <laughs> it's just that. Uh, they are all red side. So, uh, yeah, it's it's just me. Uh, it's my playstyle. Uh, I, I try to, to do something with the windows of opportunities that I see. And, uh, yeah, it, it is very disappointing for me when the team is not responding to that. Uh, anyway, uh, playing uh, the Cicada still, playing uh, SRMs and the medium lasers. The enemy is uh, setting up in Echo 7. And I assume that everybody is there. So, that I, therefore, I'm not going in. As you can see, there are still a lot of blips around, and this light mech is overextending. The panther shouldn't go in at all. What is he doing there? Uh, panther, pull back. You're far too upfront. Okay. Yeah, you just wanted to drop that UAV. All right, good. Uh, and we already got a kill. Well, that is huge. That is really good. So I think I'm going to position myself somewhere on the flank so that I can get in easily. And uh, yeah, all I need is my is my team to be around. So. Let's check out what they have. Uh, that was a Nova. Uh, not another Nova. Rifleman. Mm. Uh, the Novas are a bit scary, I have to say. Also the red line, because they are fast enough to to uh, engage me. Also right side. That's Kalima, linebacker. I think he's alone. Let's confirm that. Yes. Good. Come on here. Come on here. Come on here. Yep. That's good. You are going to die, my friend. Okay, that's just enough for me. I'm going to retreat again, because I, I just want to preserve my armor for the late game. Also, I think I need to go for heat vision here, because my game is lagging a bit. Just a tiny bit, because of the, the whole particle effects that are flying around. Missiles coming from the left, uh, we are pushing it right, so let's go. Advance a bit, right side. And we already got two kills. Oh, I like this game. It's looking so, so good here. Uh, this is not good. <laughs> Running in front of an assault mech. Uh, ah, missed my shot. And I am almost caught. Almost. So I, let's just let my, my teammates tank that. I don't want to wait stand here, to be honest. There is the Nova. Shoot him. Yeah, the problem here that I'm facing is uh, the cooldown. So the cooldown used to be very good. Extremely good. It's not that good anymore. Uh, maybe it's because I did not uh, skill cooldown, but um, I'm missing it so much. So, so much. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on, kill the banshee. Yes! Get wrecked! One more. Got it. Uh, I opened my center for that, but I think it was worth it. Committing to that kill. It's another assault mech. How many of them do they have? Oh my god. <clears throat> but we are we are making some progress here. That is uh, very nice. They're just so static. Well, the enemy team. The enemy team is just so static. Kill a marauder. No, 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 no. I don't want a firing angle here. Next, are we on the marauder? Get the legs. Come on. Pop the blue shot. I think that's time to do it now. Yes. Uh, India. Linebacker. All right. Got him. I think I'm going to override here, just in case. And Battle Master. And I think this is good. So this was nice teamwork, I have to say. This was great. So we, we took the opportunity, we pushed them, and the enemy went down one by one. I'm going for the legs as well, yeah. Uh, which is not possible for me. Oh my god, I'm going to die. No, leave me alone. And one more. Come on. No, don't block me. Got him. So what's that? Uh, that's uh, Phoenix Hawk. Come on over here, Phoenix Hawk. Ah. 
Yeah, my <laughs> my my leading shot here uh, it went wild because he was already lagged. And that's it. Okay, cool. So one enemy alive, which is a light mech over there. It's an arctic cheetah. I think we can easily destroy him. I'm not even afraid going in like that because uh, what can he do to me? Nothing. See, nothing because I have teammates that are doing their jobs. This is the, probably the most important takeaway for today. Work as a team, call targets, go in when you see an opportunity and commit to it. This is the most important thing, commit to it. Anyway, got one kill, got 493 damage, got two components destroyed, eight assists. And yeah, this is the Cicada X5 with the skills. Again, I, I'm missing the, the cooldown here, but uh, it's still very viable. It's still good. It's still running fast, it can take a beating, and uh, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. And if you enjoyed the video, then please don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel. If you want to help me, if you want to support me going down my path as a self-employed Mac warrior, go down below to the description, there is the link to my Patreon page. You can get some nice rewards out of that, for example, postcards! I got the splatless cards now, and uh, if you become a $15 patron, you can get them as well. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.